Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, you are welcome in this session. My name is Rebecca Jeanette Ninao Mundo. My name is like just a proverb. So I know it's so hard to pronounce it. Uh, most of you cannot, but you just call me Rebecca. Uh, while they are working on my presentation, I will be introducing a little bit of what we are going to be speaking about right now. Hello? Yes, I will ask you a favor because this session is going to be so intra in, 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 interactive. Um, every community and everyone who is coming from the community around the world, he will just share with us five seconds of experience on how they are strategizing or on which kind of approach they are using to grow or to maintain the sustainability of their community, right? Hello? Yes. Are you going to give me that favor? Really? Okay, some people will volunteer to, to answer some questions. Yes, I, I am Rebecca. I joined the movement 2019 uh, together with my colleagues who are here. So I would love to introduce my colleagues. Uh, whom we are also going to present together this session. Uh, I don't know, the right is so much so to see the clearly, but it's okay, I will read it. So here is Derek, uh, the executive or president of Wikimedia Zone Group Rwanda. And uh, also, I am Rebecca, as I said, the community engagement and partnership in Rwanda. So, I do partnerships uh, locally, regional, and international. So, yeah, in Rwanda, we are now a very growing community in a, in a, in a smaller country, but uh, we are now almost 300 community members with one language, one group. We are not so diverse like some other countries. But we, we also enjoy that. And that makes uh, our work and the strategies easier. Yes, so here today we would love to. Okay, there is also Feldina. Would you please stand up and they see you? Uh, Feldina is a, is a community lead in Burundi. I know some of you know Burundi, it's a, it's a, it's a, a country next to Rwanda. And also is among the Africa Great Lakes. But uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, there are people from Congo, uh, especially Goma and Ibukav, uh, uh, Valente and uh, Abe, who was not able to make it in this uh, um, wiki endeavor. They will be together with us, but it is not. So, but you know them. So we, we worked together to um, to to make to shape the vision of uh, of the movement in our region. Last year, in 2022, we organized a needs assessment in Africa Great Lakes, in Africa Great Lakes research. Yeah, it was a pioneering effort, um, which led by Kimedia Zagro Granda, with support from the organization, I mean Media uh, Foundation, and also this journey really embarked uh, a transformative journey uh, to access uh, uh, to assess the critical needs for skills development within uh, Wikimedia project across Africa metrics region. Yeah, um, we 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 realized that in, in, in our region maybe some communities are really underrepresented and are really having. Um, different perspective. They, they really perceive uh, the movement differently. Some people are like, mm, what is Wikipedia? What is Wikimedia movement? Maybe um, it's for the educated people. Is it the same as Google? Is it the same as Facebook? Uh, women really allowed to participate. There are so many 
questions before this assessment. Uh, as a woman, as a girl, am I really allowed to sit on the internet from morning to evening writing articles? Maybe my parents would not appreciate me doing so every day. So many different perspectives among the communities. So we came up uh, and reached out the movement. We are like, well, we need to we need assessment in our region. We see the gaps, and then maybe we can be able to strategize uh, priorities to put in place and again we share our community together with other communities in the world. Yes, um, you can find it on, on Meta if you want to read the whole, uh, the, the whole process and the dashboard and also the movement strategy. But it, we, 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 focused, we focused really on needs assessment and this survey in the Great Lakes region has led us to think of uh, different uh, perspectives and approaches to go with. Yeah, and this is just recommendation that one global approach for skills development. Okay, I can go to the next slide. Unfortunately, you can't see the. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were looking like this. Yes, this is the dashboard when you when you you find it online, you can get it and read it about the findings from the survey. Yes, the next. Yeah, and again, yeah, this book is, is also the book we, we wrote as a, as a report. If you want, you can get one from Derek and, and, and go through. And then, may I ask you a question? Um, what do you see in this picture, in this image? Can anyone tell me what is? If my eyes serve me correct, that will be a real way. Okay, does anyone have a different view? I see someone saying no, no, no. Can you please tell us what is it? What do you see? <laughs> okay, myself, I would read that it's a mountain. A small hill. Yeah, so, um, yeah, okay. I, I believe uh, we, are, we are seeing different, kind of different uh, view in this image, right? I'm sure there are people who are not agreeing with this one. Okay, can you do the next? Yes, can you also see this image? Is it seen? Is it visible? Okay, one person please volunteer and tell us. I want to ask a question. Can you volunteer and tell us what you see in this image? I will ask you. There are corridors. How many corridors do you see in this image? Like corridors. One said two. Another one three. Another one ten. Is, is anyone who is two persons is sitting somewhere in this image? There are two people sitting somewhere in this image. Is anyone seeing that? No? Okay.
see it in a different way. And of course, we have different approaches to make sure we reach to the common goal of our movement. Next. Yes, um, here there is some insights we borrowed from the uh, City of Good, I don't know if anyone know City of Good uh, perspective, it's, it's a concept from Singapore, I've never been to Singapore, but um, this, 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 uh, we, we learned this from, the, from them, you know, you can read on the internet everything, so um, after all the journey, after receiving uh, more uh, feedbacks from communities, as I said earlier, we had uh, a wide, a wide uh, survey to receive recommendations and also different perspectives from communities. And then we came up with a different, important approach, probably community would use, to grow and to sustain community in our respective region and also towards the goal of, of the global movement. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, so the first, the first uh, uh, approach is relationship perspective. When you talk about relationship, there is two types of relationship in the community. Someone would utilize to, 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 to sustain the community or to put the community together or to maintain projects, to maintain the retention and, and so on. So relationship is like, there are two types of relationship. There is strong ties relationship and weak ties relationship. A strong ties relationship is where we have a... a Every day meet up or every week meet up, physical meet up, where we meet, we share learnings, peer to peer, we eat together, we touch, we connect. That is that is a weak, uh, strong tie relationship. And also there is weak tie relationship where you can meet once as a community, you can meet once in a semester, and then you will be meeting every time online. And this does not mean that. Weak tie is, is a bad approach to community growth. It's not because I think I think that people using social media to meet every day also helps to improve the experience and they to explore more. This is one of the approaches. And uh, also the second approach, but before I go to the second approach, I have a question. Would someone volunteer to tell me? What are relationships are like in your community? Who can volunteer tell us? Microphone is here. How is the relationship in your community? I know some of the people that you have as diverse communities. How is the relationship? Is it a strong tie or weak tie? Uh, I, I think we, we are doing all the ties in our community. For obvious reasons, you know, we we got across um, both students who are on various campuses across the country, and also a set of working class. So, you know, all the time. Wow! Thank you for for, for teaching us. We are really uh, learning from each other. That's why you will just give me a favor and answer me those questions, and also think of your of how your relationship like in your community, how, how do you make it to build your community, what, how do you strategize, what, what the approach are you using? Maybe some, some people... Okay, there is another one, it's a core belief, a core belief, it's, it's another approach we think of in the Africa Blessings, uh, in our initiative. Um, yeah, a community uh, or foundation rely on shared belief that shape their existence. Everything they do, every project, every meetup, rely on common belief. And this really also is a, is, a, is a kind of approach which can put a community together. It can be also a nice strategy to sustain the community. There is another approach to be more faster. 
the third one is ecosystem wide perspective. Ecosystem wide perspective is like I'll try to, to go through it. It's like bubbles in the in uh, situated in a, in, a, in a kind of wider context for, for context of the society. So uh, this one ecosystem is is like people can can work together, yes, but also at their own expense, at their own community. They are just like bubbles in the air. I don't know if you maybe understand that. But also this collaboration can help them to achieve greater goals and also help them to work together through communities. It is kind of partnership, like for us, for example, we work uh, with with media uh, community Burundi, with media community Congo, and we take learnings from with media Tanzania and Uganda. So we have a, a kind of, uh, not every day, but kind of week ties. We meet a few days and then we share learnings. Yeah, that's ecosystem, the ecosystem wide uh, approach. And then there is another approach which is like member as assets. Those are the approach we are really thinking of trying to put together to sustain our community in our Africa Great Lakes because we are also looking forward to, to start implementation process of and trying to close those gaps we have been discovering in the doing research process. Yes, so there is also a member as assets where um, we try to equip uh, skills, strength, resources of communities and also this also leads to effective growth. Also there is a member centric approach or perspective. The community is really focusing on the needs, feedback and development of community. Hello? Should I ask a question again? Can I ask someone, uh, what are the assets that your community has? What do you think, if you are given the right to, 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 to think or to make, what do you think is the asset, assets of your community, the asset of your community? Josh. Okay, someone is raising hand. of your community. I'm from Cameroon.
raise the hand. Yeah, yeah, you can come and run fast. You still have like 10 minutes. What are the assets of your community? What do you value like? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alvin Vedeka from Uganda. I think uh, our user group, uh, the biggest asset we have are uh, experienced editors who act as mentors to new people who come into the community. We have a pool of around uh, 30 uh, working editors who have over 5,000 edits in the community. We've created many people. So, so it's so simple to enter new movies that come into the community. So I think uh, that's how we're going to start as we can get into the community. Oh, wow, you got that? Okay. Thank you so much. So the man, see, see the thing here. Okay. It's not the... <laughs> Who is helping me on this uh, technique? Okay. Okay, so... Um, Say the, the most asset for the for their community is experienced editors. When the six city thing, there is another approach which we are also looking around as a community called developer centric perspective. Developer centric perspective is the same as you mentioned. This is an approach where uh, the community is really focusing on the experienced editors as an asset, but also believing that these experienced editors in the community will be supporting new members. But this approach is really likely to be taken by, by companies or businesses, some other. But uh, to my perspective of view, it is like, Communities or foundation or social uh, wouldn't be a nice perspective because we believe that some people will step back, step back to let the newbies also take lead, uh, have a, a word in decision making, and so on. And this is what we always talk about in the movement: chatter, equity and inclusion, roles and responsibilities, and so on. Yeah, so developer-centric approach is, is, a good, is a also a good approach and it leads towards the goal. Yes, as you can see, you see on the image here, we have a community. Uh, they are doing like what? What do you see? I'm sure they are not editing pages as you can see these images. Yes. Imagine, it's, it's just a community program. Community program, people just put their shorts, they go to, to, to the beach. This is, this is, we did this recently in Rwanda, somewhere called at Mohazi. Some people wanted to join us, I know. <laughs> Want to take right and come. And we just go there to have fun and discuss soft things, which are even harder, but to make it soft, we discuss no chatter, movement chatter. This thing is really complicated. No, I am an ambassador, but for me, it's, even if I discuss with the community about charter, about the governance, about UCOC, but myself, I'm like, mm, I'm running to the community. And that enough, some community members are really wise, they read in pages. So when I start reading conversations, I just ask someone, and he starts speaking things which I don't know, and then I'm running. And we're also on the beach, we are eating Rishkat, Nyamachoma, we are dancing. Okay? So this approach also to us, it's maintaining sustainability and what we call detention. Yeah. Two years back, people will just come in the contest when there is Youth Labs Monument, they will come and participate. You also have that experience. When there is Youth for Human Rights, they will come and participate. When there is weak loss for color, and then after some time they disappear. No more edits. No more collaboration. No more questions and answers until the next contest. And then you were like, how can you maintain retention in our community? How can we keep people busy in vacations in, 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 in our community? We so we are so much concerned with youth because in vacations youth are around watching movies, no, uh, no job. So make sure at least put them together in a, in, a, in a funny way and then they also get to learn 
and also they, they have this sense of responsibility. One minute, I will just welcome for Ferdinand, where is Ferdinand from Burundi, and give us the one second experience to Burundi according to moving strategy. Hello everyone, uh, thank you Rebecca for giving me this time. My name is Ferdinand from Burundi. Um, our community in Burundi is growing and uh, we are happy to work with uh, uh, Wikimedia Rwanda and Wikimedia TRC. Burundi is, I think, is the younger among them. Uh, so, um, the first thing that I want to say is collaboration in the movement is so interesting that it's helpful. And uh, our experience as Burundi, uh, as she said, we are organizing many, uh, even there, the campaign in Burundi, but the participants come in this uh, uh, date to, to, to contribute, but after, many after a few times, they disappear. We didn't see anymore. And uh, this approach teaches us to, to how to, to stay connected with the contributors, how to, to, to build a system or a way to, to make them loving what we do. Because when you are doing the things that you don't like, it's like you, you are not motivated. So um, it's very, very good to love what you do, and it's more easier when you are working on what you, you like. So um, working with them is very good, and we this research we did show us that may, there are so many problems because uh, many events we do it uh, online. Uh, the people in Wiki, uh, Wake Up Africa now, we have the session online, but. Uh, in Burundi, we have uh, some issues of network, so it's very difficult. When we organize some event in Bujumbura, we see that it's very um, good to see the people in in our country. They see our post on the social media or the on the status on WhatsApp, and they call us. We want to join the movement. and want to contribute. We want to know more about these things, and they take the ticket. They come in Bujumbura and we say, wow, this is very good. And we are, in the next uh, event we organize, we invite them and we, we are seeing how to, to develop very good the movement, uh, the community in Burundi. And to train other people who can go in our country to train others. Because uh, also we see that we have uh, the problem of uh, women, they don't uh, come to contribute. We have in Burundi, we have. Um, like 70% uh, is more men, but we want also to include women in this uh, project. So it's a, uh, I want to say that collaboration is very, very important in uh, the movement. So it's very good. thank you very much. Yeah, I think I only have four minutes. Thank you so much for sharing the experience. My four minutes, I'm going to invite three people here and then we close this together, right? I want Derek here, the hero, and Carol, please come with just a simple question. And Isaac, someone who supported Vicky Davas so much. I want to learn something from you guys in, in, in four minutes. Have a seat here. You can bring back the rights. Uh, Bukola, please come. I have little questions for you, but. Yes, and thank you so much. I have a few questions about you. Uh, I know you people, you are taking uh, enough time to support communities. I remember in Wikidaba, Isaac and the team here, yeah, we have people who supported us in Wikidaba, in Wikidaba, Katerega, and some other people, uh, Mr. Vibaizeka, I forgot his name. But how do you feel when uh, someone, Isaac, when someone is asking you appointment, 
to train him and he's not going to pay you, he's not going to, to give you any fund, how do you perceive it? What is your reaction? You tell us the truth. Uh -huh. One minute. So, if, if I get your correct, I mean, question correctly, you're asking how I feel when someone comes to me and say, come and facilitate training and all that. Right? Okay, yes, uh, I feel very excited to do that because uh, the passion is to actually build capacity for people and help them learn what we do and, you know, the way that they can be better. So, anytime I get such opportunities, I'm always very excited. So I don't think I feel disappointed in any way. Thank you so much. That's an amazing spirit in the Wikimedia movement I wanted to highlight. People are so happy to help. And this is what we experienced in all journey of the movement strategy implementation. I go to Carol. Give you a mic. Give her a mic. Carol, I know you have a lot of responsibilities and also you are a community kind of read. How do you combine your responsibility? your kids, your work, and then how do you feel, like how do you perceive this whole process of working, supporting, and then put people together, organize conversations? How do you do it? Um, thank you. I think um, my passion for free knowledge drives me every day. The fact that um, I have an eight to five job, I need family, the fact that uh, I love open knowledge, that makes me be able to sacrifice my time. Yeah. So it's just the love for open knowledge. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Carol. And I think it's also a common spirit to most of we of us in our communities. As most of us are parents, others are really occupied with some other jobs, but they are still really enjoying to work with communities around the world. Yes, my question also goes to Ora. Ora, I know you have some uh, different roles. Some people are working for the foundation or they are in some different user groups. But in the community in Nigeria, what is your role and responsibilities as a volunteer? Okay, um, I'll say my role is to share the passion for free knowledge across to other volunteers because uh, I remember correctly when I started, I started during the lockdown where there was no in-person meeting and it was basically through an online campaign that I joined the Wikimedia community in 2019. And moving on, I feel like uh, we don't have to be static in terms of the way we want the community to grow. And if you want the community to grow, then you have to be part of those people that are making the change. In terms of like uh, helping people learn more, uh, being there for them, sharing resources when they need it, and also just to ensure that everybody feel connected and safe within the community. So my role is basically just helping people learn more about the community, that it's a community that is safe, it's a community where you learn, it's a community where you also share knowledge and it's something that makes me feel fulfilled. And thank you so much. So this is the common journey for the media movement around the communities. And imagine this is so natural. They have never been at university or school for someone to go and learn how to do this, how to be kind, how to respect others. I think there is no cause for that. It is so natural. And then the Wikipedia movement, uh, the, the, the movement strategy is, I can call it as a cause to share all this natural kindness, natural activeness, natural laws of people around the communities. So I will invite everybody to take part and learn of movement strategy on the global level, on the local level, do research do needs assessment of your community, be able to discover what are the gaps, be able to also identify opportunities, 